Gentlemen, today's video has me bordering on giddy. I'm giddy with excitement for what I'm about to share with you. I have dug deep into my man bag of tricks and pulled out seven style hacks that every guy should know. After this video, you're gonna feel like a stylish MacGyver. These things your mama definitely didn't teach you, but daddy is about to. How many times have you been dressed to impress? You're looking amazing. You sit down on your senorita's couch who happens to have five cats. You get up and you are covered with Fluffy's fur. On the perfect world, all you do is reach for your lint roller, give yourself the business, you're good to go looking fresh. Unfortunately, you didn't pack it. How are you going to fix it? Style hack number one, tape. All you're going to do is get tape. You can use scotch tape, you can use masking tape, you can use painter's tape. You're going to double it back so the sticky side is on the outside so that you've got a loop of sticky, tacky, amazing lint removing tape. Then Oh yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, stick it and rip it. As it gets a little bit less sticky, just simply roll it, boom, you got some more. Yeah, when you're done, roll it up, boom, you're ready to rock and roll all night long. Hack number two, picture it. You've got this incredible shirt and outfit that you've picked out, you've planned. You unfortunately didn't actually check it out the night before to make sure that it didn't need to be ironed. It's a wrinkled, hot mess. How are you going to handle it? What are you going to do? Grab the iron and iron it then? No! While you're showering or getting ready, putting your pants on, you're grabbing the shirt, you're grabbing an ice cube, you're going to your dryer, tossing them both in, bang, steams out the wrinkles. But some of you are probably thinking, yo, it looks great and all, but I don't have a dryer. You got anything else for me? Absolutely. Gentlemen, grab a spray bottle, fill it with good old-fashioned H2O. Spritz that bitch down. Boom. Both sides. Right like that. Yeah. Not too much. The mist, not the stream. Like a matador. And then, bang, pop it. Bang, pop it. Wrinkles gone. It's a spritz, not a spray. All right. Now, when you put the shirt on, it might be slightly damp, but it dries in a matter of minutes. All right. So you're going to utilize style hack number three when you have a situation and you're out shopping and all of a sudden you find this incredible pair of pants. You're like, God, they're amazing, but you don't know if they're going to fit. How are you going to tell? Boom. Forearm. What? Forearm? Yes. Stick it in the waistband of the pants and then make a fist right there. Is it super tight? Well, then you might need to lose a little bit of weight. Next time you're looking at me like, that's ridiculous. Take your pants off and try it. Tell me how ridiculous I am. It works. For some reason, it works. Now, I'm sure that there are situations where if you've got crazy long arms or really short forearms, it's not going to work. Or if your waist is super big, but for nine times out of ten, it works. All right, so for style hack number four, this is for dudes who have not actually decided to go the holist belt route and, and actually taken the ants and leap. Whatever. I know that there are some of you out there. Regardless, if you're buying a belt, one of the issues that a lot of guys have is like, yo, I don't know what size to buy. You always buy one pant size larger than your waist size. So if you're a 30, buy a 32. If you're a 32, buy a 34. If you're a 36, buy a 38. Is that a hack? Not really, but it's funny how many people don't know that. So style hack number five is totally MacGyver. All right, so button down collared shirts. A lot of times they will have these little plastic things that we know them as collar stays, right? Well, you lose them, they get bent, they get all whacked out. And the problem with not having a collar stay in your collar is that it can tart, start to warp and get all crazy nuts. How are you going to fix it? Paper clip. All you're going to do is actually just like that and slide into place. Boom. <laughs> right? Exactly. Super sweet. Very cool. Um, the only downside is that you need removable collar stays in order to be able to do that. Unfortunately, it does not work on polos. Is there anything more frustrating than failing polo shirt collars? I wish there was a hack for that. What's that? There is number six. Bang, Fashion Anchor. If you go to FashionAnchor.com, your style life is going to get a whole lot better because these things are like an all-in-one arsenal and making you look fresh all the time. Um, for polo shirts, one of my favorite uses for them, in each pack you get 36 of them, they're disposable, boom, there's two, fabric safe adhesive anchors. All you're going to do, bang, pop up your collar, stick it, it comes off, boom, flip it down, press it tight, come on, bang, fashion anchor, boom, no fashion anchor. You want to see it again? No problem. Simply peel it. Put it underneath, press it down, remove it, 
press it. This is why I feel that the Fashion Anchor is the best product on the market for helping you look stylish and fresh. It also works for button-ups and those crazy collars if you want them to stay boom like this instead of like that, no problem. When you're done, when you're like, yo, I need to wash my shirt, no problem. All you got to do, gently pull it up, grab one side of the anchor, pull it off. Your shirt is perfect. Down in the description, there's a link to fashionanchor.com. There's also a discount code if you want to go try them and change your life. And last but certainly not least, style hack number seven is for the times when your shirt keeps coming untucked. How frustrating is that? You sit down, you get up. You sit down, you get up, and all of a sudden your shirt is a billowy hot mess. How are you going to fix it? Tuck your shirt into your undies. Seriously, tuck your shirt into your underwear. Then put your pants and your belt over top of it. It is a amazing <laughs> how your shirt actually stays tucked in when it is actually down in your drawers. Now you're like, yo, that's kind of nasty. Is it? Why? Because your ass is dirty? Clean it better. And that, gentlemen, is my list of seven style hacks I personally feel every dude should have in his arsenal. But I want to know what I missed. If there's something that you know, that you do, that totally is super cool and fixes a common problem that guys have, down in the comments let me know and we'll do another video so we all can feel a little bit more like a stylish MacGyver.